let me start by saying when I'm looking for oil, gas, and minerals, I start by looking for certain minerals. Not all the time is the mineral I'm looking for the one I'm really after. It's like, you know, with uh, 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 the mafia, if you, if you know a few of their friends, you know, uh, you can find them sometime, okay? Well, I, I look for the associates of the scarce minerals like gold. I might look for arsenic, I might look for montmorillonite, I might look for, there's a whole suite of minerals I look for for each different type of mineral that I am wanting to mine. Okay. With oil and gas, I look for ancient hydrocarbon escape. Now, you know, first off, most of the big oil and gas fields of the world were not found by geologists. They were found by Bedouins on camels who realized this is a good place to get tar balls that we'll use for lanterns and, and you know, for torches. Okay. So it was just people that, that saw this stuff bubbling up to the surface. It's, it's like the, the original Beverly Hillbilly. And, uh, you know, it was there. And those are some massive fields that, that had that surface evidence of it. Well, they're ongoing with seeps right now. However, there are a lot of ancient seeps that have since been sealed off and there's no more seepage going on very much. However, there are telltale signs that it occurred there. There are some minerals that were formed because of those seeps, and those minerals happen to be long-lived as far as being stable, and so I look for those. Um, besides that, even ongoing seeps, uh, bacteria eat up the hydrocarbons fairly quickly. I mean, you know, even the Exxon uh, Valdez spill was you know, if you'd have done nothing to it, probably in three or four years, the hydrocarbons would have been all gone, yeah, as big as that was. Um, it's because bacteria eat it up. But in doing so, some other minerals are left around. That's a telltale signal that it was there. So I'm always trying to map minerals. Now, there are over 4,000 naturally occurring minerals on Earth. And all but maybe five or six of those have an, had their own individual chemical composition. Well, that is tantamount to saying they have their own individual spectra. Our reflectance versus wavelength plot is spectral reflectance. And how that responds, how the reflectance changes at different wavelengths tells you it's that mineral. If I can map those, I then can get a good picture of what's happened at this surface. Now, I still have to use good geology to infer what's at depth from that and what's backward in time from that. How did this get this way? And I do that by studying other ore deposits and, and reading and, and uh, field work and that kind of thing. But with more spectral bands, I'm able to map more minerals uniquely. And that helps me more certainly say hydrocarbons have escaped here. 